Three years after her first arrest, assisted living facility operator Renee Segura Livingston is once again behind bars. In 2015, police shut down Segura's unlicensed facility in East Austin, and now she's facing felony charges. We wanted to know why these more serious charges were not brought against her three years ago. KXAN's Eugene Cho took our questions to the district attorney's office. If my sister hadn't got me out, I'd probably still be there. Or I might be dead buried in the backyard with him cashing my check. I mean, it was that bad. Alan Vestal doesn't live here anymore, but he still remembers his short stay at then God's Blessings in East Austin. Whoever runs this place is no different than the slum lord. The district attorney's office says Renee Segura Livingston ran this illegal assisted living facility. Vestal told us Segura was only interested in making money. But I had to go back because they you know, confiscated my driver's license. And they charged me $50 to get my driver's license back. And you paid them? Yeah, I had to. They had my driver's license. When Segura was busted back in 2015. And that was done more focusing on the civil aspect of her having an unlicensed facility. Now she's facing felony charges. They include injury to an elderly or disabled person and theft. One indictment relates to food stamps, SNAP uh, assistance, as well as Medicaid, Medicare assistance. The DA's office told us they needed more time to build a stronger case. For example, if we had filed the injury to elderly first, we might have ended up in a situation where we had to go to trial and reveal evidence that would later maybe be useful in a financial case. During the investigation, the DA's office found two other illegal homes in the Austin area that Segura was operating under a false name. Those who've been inside say it's about time Segura faces consequences. So she does need to go to jail. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. The district attorney's office says Segura could face up to 30 years in prison if convicted. We reached out to Segura when we went to her home. A family member told us they had no comment. Last legislative session, Texas lawmakers approved a bill that would make it easier to punish long-term care providers. It got rid of regulations that allowed nursing homes and assisted living facilities to avoid paying fines if they fix their violations. That took effect last September. In January, an AARP Texas report found nursing homes in Texas have a lot of work to do. They were ranked shamefully poor in quality. A study looked at more than 1,000 Texas nursing homes.